The weather has continued to improve, and as the dawn breaks, it looks like it will be a very nice day, with calm winds and almost clear skies. For us, that means that we have to submerge for the day. The chance of aircraft patrolling the area is not insignificant, and we really don't want to be spotted by one of those. I do hope that on our next patrol we will be assigned an area that is out of reach of English aircraft. On such a nice day as this one is promising to be, the men would be able to go up on the conning tower, one at a time, and spend a few minutes up there, looking out towards the horizon, smoking a cigarette, or just catching a bit of sunlight. Being cooped up in this metal tube, beneath the surface, such as we have been for most of this patrol, barely seeing any sunlight, it is not good for the men, it is not good for the morale, and it is not good for their concentration. It is important that the men are alert and focused on their tasks. And while that is of course true for every man on board who has to do his duty, it is imperative for the hydrophone operator. While we are submerged, he is one of the most important men on board. But there is another man who, if you ask the sailors, is even more important than the hydrophone operator. It's the chef. There are very few things that the sailor at sea can look forward to that will immediately brighten his day. A good meal is certainly one of those things, and a good chef is always beloved by everyone on board. Food is actually a very important subject, and I'm very glad that submariners usually receive much better food than the other service branches. Before each patrol, canned food, dried food, fruits, vegetables, they get crammed into every available nook and cranny, and they are used by the chef to great effect to prepare really tasty meals. And just today, the chef had used those ingredients to prepare a really tasty looking stew. The enticing smell filled the whole boat. The meal was almost ready, when suddenly... Frachter kommt näher auf zwei sieben. The sudden torrent of curses directed at the hydrophone operator would have made the barmaid in the harbor blush. But the men, now manning their stations with grumbling stomachs, soon directed their anger at our enemy that had so rudely interrupted their plans for a good meal. Isn't it surprising how much hate one man can feel for his enemy if that enemy is responsible for making him go hungry? Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our Silent Hunter 3 campaign with the One Alex Mod Edition. Our hydrophone operator has detected the target up ahead, so let's actually go and listen to it. Well, that sound is already very audible. Come up to periscope depth. Let's come up to periscope depth. I have a suspicion that the contact is far closer than I think it is. It's very loud in the hydrophone. Maybe my hydrophone operator wasn't as concentrated on his job as he should have been. But yeah, we are getting up there. Okay, observation periscope. Let's get this thing up. And I have turned my bow towards the contact, so it should be right in front of us. There's something. Yes. Okay, on the horizon, it is actually not that close. But still, I think you should have heard it a bit earlier. It is some kind of ship. I can't tell yet what I'm looking at. No idea, to be honest. So here's the deal. First of all, I need to determine which way this thing is going. And to me, it looks like it's going from left to right at a pretty decent pace at that. So we will, of course, want to intercept the target. Right now, I am trying to determine what I want to do. How do I want to approach this? Do I want to approach the target submerged, which will make me slow? 
or do I want to surface the build, race somewhere ahead of the target and then submerge again? But considering the conditions today, the visibility is excellent, the sky is clear, and it looks like visibility is really, really good. So if I surface, they might spot me. Our batteries are good. I think we'll try to do this one submerged. At least the initial approach. Let's try to set up an intercept course. And we will lower the periscope. And we are speeding up the boat. Let's go. Speed is immediately rising. And I'll try to get us somewhere in front of the target. Let's hope we can make this work. But this will take a bit of time, so I'm going to cut the video here. See you in a bit. Alright, a few minutes have passed. I think it's time to take a look at the target. Let's... Um, let's first slow down the boat. And the speed is immediately dropping. That's important, because if we are going too fast, we can't use our periscope. It would be vibrating too much. But this is alright. Okay, observation periscope. Up you go. Target should be somewhere in this direction. Let's carefully raise this. Okay. Let's have a look. This target is now getting closer and closer. Still not sure what kind of ship I'm looking at, but it doesn't appear to be a big one. Lower this periscope. Let's um, let's actually go up in the conning tower and switch over to the attack periscope. Because it is much harder to spot the attack periscope. So it was 288, right? Yeah. Okay, carefully raise the periscope. There we go. What are we looking at here? Is this a target that we can engage? Is this a British target? It has a red flag, so that's an indication that yes, this might be British. I can't tell if it is armed or not. It does appear... It does appear to be a merchant of some kind, but it is a small one. Maybe something like a coastal merchant. I wonder if there is a gun on the stern platform there, just behind the funnel. There is something. I don't think there's one in front. Although there is some kind of mast up front, but it is not a gun. That back there, however, might be one. Wait, what's that? There's something else on the horizon approaching. Bearing 273. Down periscope. Something is back there. Stop the engines. So this is the ship that we are approaching. This here. And what are you? Another one? Now, let me know in the comments, do you think... Do you think that this is a warship? Hide from operator. What do you think? No warship sound contact. So you don't think this sounds like a warship? I too think that this sounds like some kind of merchant. So we have two targets out here. Bring us back up to speed. We have to get closer to our first target before we can deal with the second. 
In any case, this sounds more and more like it's getting a little bit complicated. If we attack the first target, what will the second one do? Of course, it will be alerted to our presence. Might change course, might try to run away from us. Definitely will call for help. What does that mean for us in practical terms? That means that if we attack this first target, we have to finish it as fast as possible and then race towards the second one. Without having the element of surprise, really. Hmm, an interesting tactical situation. Okay, so we are now approaching target number one at a pretty high speed. This is almost all of the underwater speed that we can achieve. And we should soon be a bit closer so that I can determine if it is armed with guns or not. If it isn't armed with guns, I might surface and gun it down while we start to race towards the second one. Could be... Yeah, that could be a way to go about this. Okay, let me make another small cut. And I'll bring you back once we are a little bit closer and can see the target a bit better. A few minutes have passed. Let's slow down. Up into the conning tower we go. To the attack periscope. Target is now on 297. So this way. Let's drop speed here. Okay, there we go. Now we can race. Oh, we are close. Oh, we are closer than I thought we would be. Are you armed, though? You aren't. And yes, you are very small. This is not worth a torpedo. And it is a tanker. It is a tanker, but a coastal one. Nothing that's too big. And back there, 272. Contact on the horizon. I can just about see the masts. Okay, here's what we are doing. Everybody to battle stations. Get the gun crew ready. Uh, the gun crew is ready. Target is moving on 307. Let me see. Turn. Towards its rear. Go flank. All power to the engines, come on. Bring us up to speed. I want to have as much speed as possible when I order the boat to surface. Hydrophone. I don't need the updates anymore. Turn the boat. I hope I don't run into it. I don't think we'll do that though. Okay, getting there, completing our turn. We will be very close to the target when we surface, which isn't a bad thing. Not in this case, it seems unarmed. I don't know why they are sending an unarmed ship through this area. Just asking for trouble, really. Okay. Speed has been achieved. Surface. Come on. There we go. To the surface we go. Oh, the horror and surprise that they must feel on that little boat now. Okay, switching over to the diesels. Let's go up to the bridge. Oh yeah, this close. Wait. They do have platforms for anti-aircraft guns, but they are not installed. Watch officer. Weapon crews to the deck. Watch officer, gun crew, target the waterline. Go get him. And by the way, why not join in?
let's finish them as fast as we can. How do you miss at that range, guys? I seem to be doing more damage with the anti-aircraft gun than the actual gun is. You guys keep missing. There you go. Finally. A nice hit. Okay, they have found their range. They are now landing hits. Nice. Yeah. What about the second target? Over there. No idea what it is. But we are coming for it. Reduce our speed. This this target here we're at least crippling. Chief engineer, don't recharge the batteries. Oh and by the way, anti-aircraft gunners. You are free to open fire, yes you are. Just in case that something shows up. You never know. But here goes the first one. He's not surviving this treatment for long. Guys, you're shooting a bit high. Try to aim better, please. And I did tell them to aim at the waterline. Let's raise the... antenna here. Okay, there was another hit into the bow. That's nice. If we leave behind a completely crippled ship that is maybe not outright sinking, but uh, on its way down, so to speak, that's fine. Hi. You guys are aiming high. Stop that. This will be hit. There we go. Waterline hit. Nicely done. Continue that. Yeah, this is good. And because it's a tanker, it's burning very well. The panic on that ship must be really something to behold. Because they know they are going down. They're on a tanker. That thing is, if it's loaded of course, and it definitely looked like it's loaded because it was so low in the water. Ah, that thing is super flammable. Okay, let's focus on the horizon for a moment. Target on the horizon is appearing. Ah, might be another tanker. It has a funnel in the rear, it seems. Bring me the user. That might indeed be another tanker, and I think I can see that it has a red flag. So this might be a nice double engagement. Or a double strike. Keep hitting it. Okay, you are now starting to be more and more inaccurate because of the range. We are opening the range really fast. There we go, another hit into the bridge it seems. Ooh, that was just short. Yeah, this one's off. There's a little bit of waves. Not much, but there is some. And I think the gun has stopped shooting either because it is out of arc or that target is going down. Which one is it? I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look. Did we sink something? No, we did not. 
So I guess the target is out of the gun's arc now. But that's fine. We'll leave it burning over there. We are racing towards the other one. And let's do some crew organization here. I don't need a sonar man right now. So please go away. You can stay... Oh, what's going on? Are you engaging the other one now? Yeah, you're trying to. Actually, I don't know yet what kind of target we are looking at, so hold fire. You are wasting shells at this range anyway. I mean, look how high these shells are flying. Well, at least that ship knows that um, they're in trouble. The question is, can they get help? If aircraft show up, we can be in trouble. So far, everything's cool. Let's go to the Yuzo and take another look at this. It really does look like a tanker. It really does look like a red flag. So there's a very high chance that we are looking at a British ship. There's also a very high chance that they are still kind of steaming in this direction, which is incredibly dumb. Did they not notice what's going on here? Do they not see the huge plume of black smoke indicating that there's trouble ahead? Or they might also just be panicking, because what can you do at this point? If there is a fast enemy boat in the area that is armed with guns, you're done. If you don't have any guns yourself, you are simply done. The best thing to do in that uh, instance or in those circumstances is really to stop the engines, stop the ship, prepare the lifeboats, and hope that uh, whoever is coming is kind enough not to shoot your lifeboat. Yeah, that's definitely a tanker. And it definitely a red flag. That's very likely an enemy ship. Still, I want to wait a bit until I can identify it without a chance for an error. That thing behind us should be going down. Just a matter of time. But it is really a huge plume of smoke rising into the air. Uh, it's exploding back there, okay. They are not having a good time. I really do hope that the Royal Air Force is not in the area. And that some bomber pilot is attracted to that huge plume of smoke. Okay, closing in. Take another look through the Yuzu. Taking another good, good look at the flag. That's British, all right. That's British. Um, gun crew. How many shells do you have? 180. Oh. Open up. Fire frei. There goes the first shell. Well, that was quite close. Here comes the second one. Hit. Nice. Already scored a hit at this range. But we are still quite far away from them. The shells are really ar arching upwards and then coming down onto the target. But we have a nice broadside to shoot at. Most definitely a British flag over there. And they don't seem to be armed. 
At least nobody is shooting back for now. There was always a risk that the boat in front of that the other ship in front of us is armed. But it doesn't appear to be the case. So they really sent two unarmed tankers. Probably pretty fast ships, but yeah, if they get caught out by a U-boat, that's it. Ooh, that hit the bridge. That shell hit the bridge. More shells into the hull of the ship, nice. Want to see some nice waterline hits, boys. Behind us, still fire. Ooh, there we go. Now we will see a second huge plume of smoke. Looks like your cargo is on fire. And another hit into the bridge superstructure. Well, the target is now obscured by smoke. But the fire is burning so bright, my gun crew should still have a good good idea of where the target is. I'm not changing course now. My men are shooting very accurately. They're doing well. I say, just as they miss two shots in a row. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Definitely not a happy enemy ship. But that will be two enemy ships going down. Oh, come on guys, start hitting again, will you? Let's go down to the gun. Oh, something detonated. That's nice. Yeah, there we go. More detonations on the enemy ship. The gun keeps shooting at them. Hit after hit. Now we're getting there. So many hits being scored right now. They are... They stopped shooting. The enemy ship is going down. Okay, so this is... This one going down. What about that one? It still seems to be floating. Well, one tanker gone. Turn the boat. We are going back that way. Uh, gun crew, don't try to hit that other ship at this range. No, don't. Yeah, they're already slewing the gun around. Didn't I tell you something? I told you not to shoot, didn't I? Wait, my bad. Okay, hold fire. That target is way too far away and we are not a stable platform for shooting right now. As we are making this high speed turn. Look. <laughs> Look at him dance. <laughs> oh, this is great. Man, but look at that. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice view. I have to say. Really nice. They seem to be very eager, aren't they? With one ship burning behind them, they are ready to get the next one. Awesome.
really awesome. Okay, back to the bridge we go. Usually we'd go over here, and then there is this stairs here, and then we can go back here. By the way, that's something that's one of the very few things that are really awesome in Silent Hunter 5. You can physically walk around on the ship and climb ladders and such. Unfortunately, there are not many more things that are good about Silent Hunter 5. Even the modded one is... It has so, so, so many issues. Silent Hunter 3, with an extensive mod compilation like this one, is just so much better. And it is something that I am talking about from time to time. I wish somebody would make a modern, new subsim. With modern, good graphics, full on realism, and just an awesome gameplay and atmosphere, just like this one. Basically, make this one, but with modern graphics and without all the issues that the, this engine inherently has. That would be amazing. Will that happen? Probably not. Probably it won't. Because you need money to make such a game, and I think that most development studios, and especially all of the publishers, they want to see a huge return on investment. And the subsim genre, it is a niche genre. It can't be denied. There are certainly more than enough people who would play such a game, who would pay money for that. We can see it with u boat There's a huge interest for that. I, I think they did well with sales. Even though it isn't a full-on subsim. But no major studio publisher will attempt to touch something like this. That's... I think that's an unfortunate truth. But maybe it's for the better. If I imagine Ubisoft publishing another game like this... Oh, what would that be? What travesty would they bring upon the world? Can you imagine that? Buy this torpedo with leather search patterns. Five heroes. <laughs> it would be something stupid like that. It definitely would be something stupid like that. So, in a way, it's maybe for the better that no major publisher is touching something like this anymore. Maybe it is for the better. Okay, we are going back towards the first target. And we are getting ready to re-engage. Should I open fire at this range? Ah, we don't need to waste shells. The target over there is a small one. I know it's not armed. And it still might sink on its own as I approach it. So for now, we are holding fire. And we are closing in. Behind us... That tanker seems to be not only on fire, but exploding. Yeah, pieces are flying through the air. They probably had a really nice day until we came along. It's a shame. This whole war is just such a shame. We are closing in with the target. And let's keep an eye on the one behind us. So much smoke and fire. When a tanker burns, it's a really hellish scenery. And it is sure to sink very soon. Even when it sinks, the oil left behind on the surface might continue to burn and smoke. By the way, let's have a quick look. What did we even sink? So this was a T1 tanker of 2000 tons. Not bad for 
A random encounter, really. For a target that was not expected. But I have to be careful. This has been going on for some time now. And there might always be airplanes approaching. I'm sure that both of these ships have called for help, so... After we sink the other one, we will have to submerge and sneak out of the area. We are almost in range to start shooting again. Let's go ahead and uh, reduce our speed a bit. We don't need to burn that much fuel on a target that is essentially dead already. I'm quite sure that they will sink by itself if given enough time. The damage that they suffered already has to be extensive. But you should always try to make sure that you really get the target. Confirm the sinking. Oh, the weather... Oh, the weather is getting worse again. We had lower wind speeds earlier. Now you guys are already getting wet feet. I hope the weather doesn't continue to get worse, which would make it impossible to use the deck gun. And behind us, the tanker is just slipping beneath the waves. Maybe it is already gone, I can't quite tell. There's still a fire burning, but as I said, that might also just be oil left burning on the surface. I think the ship itself might be gone. Yeah, the ship is gone. That must just be oil burning off. Such a nice detail, isn't it? Such an awesome little detail to have. You, s uh, you sink a tanker and there remains an oil slick on the surface that continues to burn for a bit. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Closing in with that target. How are you guys looking? Not good. Good. If the waves start to become higher, we will not be able to use the deck gun anymore. So, considering that, open fire. Fire fry. Fire at will, try to hit that thing a few more times. Okay, behind us, the tanker has vanished. We're still quite far away, it seems. Getting there, though. Uh, this shell is going the right way. It's coming down towards the ship, and that's a hit. Nice. As we close in with the target, we will of course get more accurate. Very soon, that thing should be gone. There we go, another hit. I don't think this target will be able to sustain too much damage. It is a small ship after all, and we are shooting at it with um, 80... Uh, with an 8.8 cm naval gun. Uh, not to be confused with the 8.8 cm anti-aircraft gun that is so famous. The naval gun was quite different. It didn't have the, the armor piercing capabilities that the other gun had. This is just a completely different gun really. But it is making a nice mess of ships like that.
and of, sco and of course speaking um, in naval terms, 8.8 .8 centimeters, that's not a big gun. That's a small gun. I think for the Type 9 new builds you can um, install a 10.5 centimeter gun. That's much better. Nice 105 millimeter gun. Does much more damage. Another good hit. Nice, keep going. And another hit. Yeah, we are getting them now. The gunners are finding their range. So we are expending a lot of shells on this. But I just want to get a bit more damage in and confirm the sinking. Make sure it really happens before the weather worsens and we are suddenly unable to um, have men on the deck down there. Even now these guys are getting wet feet. As the build is cutting through the waves. Come on, hit it. How many shells do we still have? 120, or oh, more than enough. We can afford this. Honestly, I am surprised that the ship has not sunk yet. We did get a lot of really good hits in, right from the start. That should have caused quite a bit of flooding. Turn a little bit. The angle is really bad. They are presenting a very narrow target right now. We need to get closer. We'll do that as the gun continues to fire. Oh, there we go. Looks like they are going down. Quick look at the logbook. It was a, a T1 tanker type 3 of 1200 tons. Where the hell did you come from? Turn that way, crash dive! Come on! I don't think those are friendly to us. Bring us down. Depth on the kill. 6 7. Drop down, drop down, drop down. Bring us down. Everybody through the hatch. Hatch is closed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's drop down. Bring me down to 45 meters. Okay, electric Derzeit engines are on. I don't think those were friendly aircraft. So they did call for help. Tiefe, vier, and the help did actually arrive. It was just, more or less, five minutes too late. Oh boy. That could have gone wrong. Okay. The question is, what are those airplanes? And will they try to engage? We didn't spend too much time on the surface after spotting them. We dropped down pretty fast. So I think we should be alright. They shouldn't be able to find our position. 
every second helps to distance us from the place where we submerged. Let's keep going at high speed. Just for a little bit longer. Batteries are still holding up well. Didn't even drain one fourth of them. Come on. Nothing. Okay. We need to distance ourselves from this area. So, I will drop our speed a little bit, but we are continuing, we are continuing to get away from here. Ooh, what an engagement, with quite a surprise at the end. That could have gone horribly wrong if those were faster aircraft, maybe they would have made it to us in time, but it looks like we are in the clear. So for now. I think we'll end the episode here. I want to thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed today's episode and that you are looking forward to the next ones. Until then, have some really great days and goodbye. Oh, more explosions. Nice.